What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm really excited to talk to you guys about GitHub repository template. Now, if you don't know what this is, don't worry, we're gonna talk about it deeper within this video. This entire new feature is something that just got released this month, June 2019. For those of you that have never heard of GitHub templates before, let's take a quick look on some of the existing template that we had. Number one, we had a template called issue template and that give you the ability for you to create a template when people are submitting issue to your application on GitHub repo, then they can kind of have that structured ways of describing the step and what the issue that they're facing. Number two, pull request template. If you're working on a large team, then you definitely need to create a template for your pull request. And this kind of give everybody an idea of what to check for whenever they're about to submit changes, AKA pull request to your repository. Lastly, but not least, this brand new feature called repository template. This is an entire new feature that just got released this month, June 2019. I believe this is one of the best templates that GitHub have ever created. Again, this is something that's new. And according to GitHub release, they said this is just the beginning of the repository template. So expect more fun things to come within that. Okay. So the goal behind this is to focus and kind of give you guys an idea how this work and give you a demo on how to create your GitHub repository templates. Now let's talk about some of the benefits whenever you're using GitHub repository template. Number one is you spend less time repeating work. Again, one clear example on some of the work that you might be repeating and what we currently have right now within the industry, a lot of other developers build CLI for some of the most popular frameworks out there, like Angular, React, Vue, you name them. However, the CLI allow you to get the basic configuration out of the way, but still you have that decision on how you structure your component, use different design patterns. Well, now you can create repository template on how you want to architecture your application and quickly replicate them a course new repo that you are creating. Number two, it allows you to focus on building new things. Once you have architecture your application once, then now you can quickly create new repo according to the architecture that makes sense for you and you can focus on building new things out of the box. Number three, less manual configuration. Again, there isn't anything manual that you're gonna have to do, such as no need to configure Jess if you have configured already in the template, no need to configure or whatever you can possibly think of. You can bend, bundle everything within the template and then you use this template for whichever new repository that you are creating. Lastly, but not least again, sharing boilerplate code across code bases. Some of the feature about um, repository template. Number one, it copied the entire repository files and folders to a brand new repo that you created. Number two, every single template has a new URL endpoint called slash generate. Again, this is a very useful one because once you create a template, you can quickly send that URL to any other GitHub user or any other people within your organization and they can quickly create the same template of the repo that you have. And number three is the ability to share repository through your organization or other GitHub users. Now, without any further ado, it is time for a demo. So let's head over GitHub slash new and that will take you over to how you can create a repo. Now, one thing I'd like to call out here, which is very important is, as you see this, I do not have any way for me to select an already template. The reason behind this is because I do not have any current template available. All right, so let's go to another repo that I have in this repo called basic website. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna turn this repo into my template, which means every single new repo that I want to create, I want them to have the same files such as index HTML assets and so other things. How can we do that? Well, to do that, we need to go to where it said settings and under settings, I can quickly check that box. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how easy it is to turn a repo into a template. Now to verify, if I go back into the repo, I should be seeing that name called template next to the repository. 
or I can either see this button next to clone or download a button that could tell me that this is a template. Now, if I go back to where I was previously creating a repo, if you guys remember, we didn't have the template. But if I refresh this, and ladies and gentlemen, now I have the ability for me to select as many templates as I have. Right now, I only have one, so I can quickly select that and give this one a new name. I'm gonna call this one basic website templates and I'm gonna leave a description as demo of template. Once I have that, I need to click create repository. It should take a second to process. And ladies and gentlemen, there you go. As you can see, I have the same file structure with my new repository as the one that I had before. That allowed me to quickly get up and running without having to go over through the bullet plates of creating an asset folder, creating an index HTML that give me this entire repo for me to work with. Now, if I go back to the template, this is the template right there. Now, if you guys remember every single template, AKA this one is a template, every template has an endpoint and call slash generate, which means if I click enter, it will take me to a way where I can create a new template from the same repo and this one I can give it a different name. I'm going to name this one basic quick website and again guys I can create another repo from the same template again and again. And there you go guys my new repo is created with the basic quick website with the same file structure. So far if I go inside my github repository you can see now I have three already repo created out of the box and every single one of them is within minutes. Lastly but not least, again with this endpoint, if you guys remember this endpoint, we can click on it to create a new repo from our template. I am on my template. You see, this is the way that I know that I am on my template. The cool thing about this is if you send this one to a Node GitHub user, your friends, your classmates, your coworker, whatever, whoever you wanna send that to, uh, then they will have that ability to create a new repo from your template. One example is I have this new GitHub user account. Again, this is the different. This is an entire brand new user account that I have called Sterling Axime. And my other one where I have the template, it's something that's called Axime Sterling. So two different users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the other user. I'm going to type that the link to my template again with the endpoint call slash generate once I click that with the new user I can now we can see here the new user can now create an entirely new repo from your existing template they I'm gonna give this one a simple name and then click create and should take a second again and ladies and gentlemen, this brand new user just create a new repo from another user template. How cool is that? One thing I'd like to call out here is if I go back from the template itself, which is I am on this template, there's one thing to be mindful about. Again, this one has multiple branches. You can see here I have multiple branches. Well, when you create a new repo from a template, the branch doesn't get exported over to that new template. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is everything I had for you. If you guys think template is definitely something that's going to change your life as a developer, please comment within the section below. If you'd like to get more videos about the latest technologies going on in the industry, please subscribe and looking forward to see you in the next video.